Well, welcome to a uh, Friday Roundup, right? The last one of the year. Yeah, last one of the year. Yeah. It's been a year. Yes, it has. It has been a year. Uh, we're uh, very grateful, obviously, for all the blessings of this year, especially for all of you. Um, yeah, just been a, a great joy to have this guy move in as well. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, just a lot of great blessings. A lot of great blessings over the course of this year. So, uh, what do we have going on? Uh, well, we have a holy day coming up, but it's not a holy day of obligation. Yes. So there won't be a vigil mass tonight. Uh, just keep that in mind. I, I think one person at morning mass already thought there was. So we'll have tomorrow the mass uh, at 8.30 a.m., 10 a.m. Uh, those will be our two masses for uh, Mary and the Mother of God. Mm -hmm. We will have confessions tomorrow afternoon at 3.30. We will have confessions. And then the 5 o'clock Mass tomorrow night will be the Vigil for Epiphany, which is on Sunday. And we'll have our normal Sunday Mass schedule for you on January 2nd. So after watching some college football bowl games, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be watching the playoffs today. Should be some good good action today. Um, and the Winter Classic tomorrow night as well. Uh, you can come to Mass on Sunday. Be careful in the parking lot, especially Saturday evening. We're supposed to get a little wintry mix. Uh, so just be careful on that. We'll uh, hopefully... We'll call our snow removal folks, I guess. If yeah, and I, I think, <laughs> uh, you know, who knows with the weather. It's always weird to predict. But I think we're supposed to get rain most of the day tomorrow. Yeah. Which means we can't do any pre-treat. Uh, and then it's going to change pretty quickly. So just play it on the side of caution if you think, hey, should I go out right now? Just know we might not have a chance to get the lot treated before you get here for 5 yeah. o'clock mass. Maybe come on Sunday yeah. after we have time to get that stuff all done. Um, so just kind of use your... Uh, Common sense, I guess. Yeah, good judgment. Uh, yeah, good sense. Common. Yeah, common sense. Good judgment. Uh, we also, not you know, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, not always. Uh, yesterday we said farewell to Mary. Uh, her last day was yesterday, so we wish her well in retirement. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Very generous employee of our parish for 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a wonderful, but wonderful lady, and uh, we'll miss having her around in the office. But uh, she's obviously still a parishioner here, and uh, you'll see her around at the parish for sure. Um, let me think of anything else. Uh, kind of quiet. We, yeah, kids will, kind be of back quiet. On we kids will be back on Monday. Uh, so uh, we'll begin with school mass again on Tuesday the 4th. Um, so we'll have that. Um, readings for this weekend, maybe? Preaching? Yeah, I have a deacon preaching the only for preacher. me. Yeah, you're the I'm only the only preacher. one that's preaching? Oh gosh, <laughs> I, this is uh, giving me a lot of, uh, pressure. A lot of pressure right now. Um, don't have it nearly <laughs> done yet, so this might change, but uh, I'm just kind of going to talk about the contrast between Herod and the wise men. These were men of, of power and men of influence, um, and yet they, were e they each approached the newborn king in different ways. Herod saw Jesus as a threat to his power, uh, and he responded with violence. Uh, the wise men, rather, a a approached Jesus with astonishment and wonder and responded with worship. Um, so I'm just going to kind of talk about you know, what happens when Jesus feels like he's threatening us and our worldview a bit? And really, the only thing that Jesus threatens uh, is sin, is evil and error. Uh, and if we ever feel threatened by Jesus, it's, uh, it's that part that's maybe coming out. And so, if anything, it's good when Jesus kind of feels like he's threatening us because that means that, you know, our consciences are sort of tinged a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. that we, we, and that, that it should, I don't know, exfoliate or whatever. <laughs> Or sinfulness. I don't know why that word Do came to mind. I don't use any exfoliating. <laughs> You're really Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look at me. Look at me. Uh, the new charcoal kind or whatever. Uh, yeah, new charcoal exfoliation. Yeah, Friday roundup. Uh, th that could be. That I have swam in the Dead Sea. I have swam in the Dead Sea. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, Dead Sea yeah. mud. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that, that's yeah. But. Um, Anyway, anyway, <laughs> back to the epiphany. Um, so yeah, you know, what, what, how do we respond uh, when Jesus um, challenges? Challenges, us. yeah, challenges our worldview a little bit. Um, I think that's that's kind of uh, where I'm thinking of going with everything this weekend. I think always knowing too that when God challenges us, it's not just for His own amusement. It's always right. for it's for our own growth, for growth, and yeah. and for something better. Right, exactly. So yeah, challenging us. That, that's a that's a great word. I'm gonna use that. Or threaten. Or threaten. Yeah. yeah. Challenges, threats, same thing. Intimidate, Intimidation. Whatever. Intimidation tactics. You know. Destroys. He's not he's not he's not a mafia boss at all. Not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> no. So well anyway, we hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve tonight. Stay safe. Uh, don't do anything too crazy after midnight. Uh, we hope to see you this weekend, whether it's for Mary Mother of God on Saturday and especially on Sunday for the Solemnity of the Epiphany. Yes. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Happy twenty twenty two.
Peace.